Hi guys, uh, Dennis from uh, Denny Bob's RC Construction and Ag Conversions. Um, I'm going to pop in here again. I'm going to do a video three of kind of my progress as of uh, today um, to kind of add to the last video I did. Um, I was working on the boom and bucket situation and uh, well, I had a bucket here, a spare bucket for my 336 that fits the Hoyna 580. What I've basically done is retrofit that bucket to the end of the boom so that I can get all my dimensions and all the actuation and everything as such to work the way I want it. Um, basically, then I'll mine a cylinder from here to here and I can, uh, which I'm going to end up with using, I think I'm going to end up using uh, three, uh, four, actually, uh, the same stroke cylinders. And it's going to do everything that I need it to do. Um, that's what I'm going to go with anyway. And I think I'm going to go with the boom lift cylinders off of the 336 Cabalite. Um, they're smaller in diameter and easier to get to fit in the spots that I want. And uh, after doing all my measurements and everything, I think that's going to work just fine. Um, I got a lot of stuff and some spacers to make to, to get this to be perfect. But um, then I'm thinking down the road, I could actually just go get myself another quick attach for a Hoyna 580. And... I can put it on here and I can change buckets on this unit just like I do my 336 and my Hoyna 580s that I used to have. I don't have them anymore, but I kept a bunch of the buckets and stuff for them because they fit my 336 just fine too with a, some mild modifications. So um, I figured that was probably better to use that bucket. Uh, I'll go back to that here. This is the factory die cast bucket, which it's okay, but I couldn't get my dimensions and my holes drilled and everything without adding a bunch of stuff to this bucket, which I thought was kind of nice with this one. You know, it's got the bolt on sides and the, and the, it's a nice bucket. I figured that was just a little bit more realistic. Um, yeah. And this is some stuff I got from Servotech that happened to be the perfect inch and a half space here. And then I had to build this piece here out of quarter inch aluminum. Took it with the end mill and rounded it out so that it's got a spot for the cylinder. To, the cylinder will be pinned here. And uh, I'll make some spacers and stuff in these spots here to keep it from going side to side. But uh, I think that's going to work. I think that's going to work. I'm going to be happy with it anyway. Uh, just some more tinkering on a Saturday. So, catch you guys later.